Hello! Preschool, preschool, preschool. Miss Holokai here. So we're talking about the gingerbread man, right? And here's my gingerbread puppet. And it's really cool. I'm gonna do this during Zoom. Um, I'll read the gingerbread man. I'll, I'll uh, use my puppet instead of a book. And look, here's the, the little old woman. And here's the little old man that baked the gingerbread man. And then he jumped out of the oven. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm a gingerbread man. And then he runs away in my puppet story. He runs away from a cow and a rooster and a duck and a pig. And then you know who tricks him when he carries him across the river? A fox. <laughs> So I wanted to do a number activity with Gingerbread Man. So I'm going to show you a 10 frame with dots already in it. And then I have these Gingerbread Men with numbers on it. Okay? And you have to choose uh, the correct number that matches the 10 frame. Okay? So let's start out with an easy one. Here we go. Okay, so look at my 10 frame here. How many dots? One, two. That's easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? But look down below. Which one of these gingerbread is number two? Remember, number two looks like make a candy cane, give it a shoe. That is how you make a two. Look, it's right here. There it is. Two. This is five and this is seven. That's not going to work. Two, one, two. Very good. Let's try one that's uh, a little harder. Let's do... Let's do this one. Okay. So got to count the dots. Remember, always use your pointer finger to count. And don't go too fast. I see people doing this. They don't even touch the objects. They, and then they just go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. What? No. You have to make sure that your voice matches up with your pointer finger. And take your time. Because you, it doesn't, it's not a race. It doesn't matter if you get done the fastest or you count the fastest. It's if you get the number correct. So make sure your voice matches up with your finger and go like this. One, two, three, four, five. Five. All right. And remember, it, a lot of times when you're looking at a 10 frame, you should know, well, if a whole row is filled, that's five. And then if two rows are filled, what's that? Ten. So we know that one whole row is five. Which one of these is number five? Neck short, belly fat. Mr. Five wears a hat. Point to it. Ding, 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 ding. Right there, number five. This is ten. And this is eight. I don't want that. Five. Very good. Okay, let's do another one. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so what do we have to do? Do we just look and guess? No. Do we look at that and go, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? No. We use our pointer finger, and our voice matches up with our pointer finger, and we count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can you count them? Okay, so we're looking for number nine. Which one of these is number nine? A loop and a line. That is how you make a nine. Well, we know it's not that. What's that? That's easy peasy. That's number one. 
take that out of there. Which one's number nine? Ding, 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 ding. Number nine. This is four. We don't need that. And remember, friends, another quick, easy way to count is if you know one whole row filled is five, you could start counting at five. It's quicker and easier. You could just go like this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Let's do another one. Okay, what do we do? We count. I'm gonna hold this up and give you a little bit of time to count. You can even pause it if you want. Can you count it? All right, let's count it together, making sure our pointer and our voice match up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's count it the fast way since we know one whole row filled is five. Five, six. So which one of these numbers is six? A stick and a hoop do the tricks. That is how you make a six. Well, we know it's not this one because we just did that one. That's nine. That's a loop and a line. Which one's six? Point to it. Is it this one or this one? Ding, 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 ding. It's this one. This is around a tree, around a tree. That is how you make a three. We don't need that. Six. Yeah. Okay. And then let's do our last one. Oh, my numbers are all mixed up here. Okay, so this by now should be easy peasy lemon squeezy because when your whole 10 frame is filled, how many are there? 10, right? One whole row and one whole row, 5 plus 5 is 10. When it's all filled, it's 10. But let's count it anyway, okay? Ready? Let's do it together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, which one of these is ten? A one and a zero. That's all the numbers you know. A one and a zero. Those are all the numbers you know. There it is. Ten has two numerals. A one and a zero. A one and a zero put together is ten. There you go. All right, I'll see you later, bye.